MMANow.com with the beautiful champion Carla Esparza. Congratulations. Why, thank you. You got some nice bling going on there. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah? Definitely worth 25 minutes of work? It was worth it, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep this one for a while. <laughs> so how, how is it being the Invicta champion and, and really taking it on and propelling women's MMA to the forefront? Um, it's just, it's an amazing feeling and I really love um, that the sport's been growing so much and especially to win a belt on an um, all-women's promotion like Invicta, it just feels great. Do you have respect for your opponent that she kind of took it last minute, that she's mostly a striker and, you know, she, she hung in there and took her lumps? Oh yeah, she's such a tough girl and, you know, she showed a lot of heart. Um, we actually got to hang out at the after party and she's just awesome and I'm glad that um, she stepped up to take the fight. Do you find that most girls in, in the fight business, they end up becoming friends after they fight or during it, or do you get in some heated rivalry sometimes? Um, I think it just kind of depends on the girls, you know, some girls um, are a little bit more friendlier than others. What did, I mean, basically you had your way in the fight, what what did you like that you did in the fight and what would you like to have maybe changed or improved on a little bit, any positions or any, anything specific? Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, I took her down a lot. and. Um, you know, did a lot of ground and pound, but you know, improving for me would have been finishing the fight. And your training where? I met Timo Yama. Timo Yama, he's got something for your mama. That's not <laughs> old Rampage Jackson saying. Okay, I'm old school like that. And uh, obviously things are going well over there. You got yourself winning a belt. You got Ian McCall fighting soon against uh, Joseph Benavides. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for Ian's fight. I think he's going to go in there and tear it up. He's been looking good. Yeah. Okay. What are, girls are you looking at to challenge you, challenge you for your belt? Who do you think is coming up that top two or three names maybe in your head right now? Um, I'd love to fight actually my uh, one of my original opponents, either Claudia Gadella or Yamasaki. Okay, Yamasaki. I'm not that familiar with. I gotta admit that she uh, fights like a smack girl shooter or. Yeah, she's actually the Jules champion. She just defended her belt, which is why she couldn't um, fight for this one. But um, she's actually ranked number three in the world, so I'd definitely love to go in there and take her spot. What's, what's her style? Is she more of a just ground grappling submission type style? Or? Uh, she's like a southpaw, and she does a lot of judo. And um, she, overall, she just has a good game. Okay, excellent. Let's, let's make that happen. Um, anyone you're really looking forward to on this upcoming Bellator fight to come on Uh, I am looking forward to Pat Curran, and I think he's going to do an awesome job and uh, keep that belt. Where can fans follow you? At Carla Esparza one and you can Esparza follow me um, on my Facebook page at Carla Esparza. I will be doing that. All right, thank you guys. I'm Dan the Wolfman. Thank you very much. Congratulations.